Propofol is a commonly used sedative in intubated patients due to its potent sedative and amnestic properties. However, it lacks analgesic effects, making it insufficient as the sole medication in post-intubation care. Intubated patients often experience significant discomfort, not only from the endotracheal tube, but also from invasive procedures like arterial lines and the physical act of lying immobile. This discomfort can persist, leading to increased sedative requirements if pain is not adequately addressed. By combining propofol with appropriate analgesia, healthcare providers can enhance patient comfort, reduce the overall dose of sedatives required, and potentially avoid complications associated with high doses of sedatives, such as hypotension requiring vasopressors. Commonly used analgesics for managing pain and discomfort in ventilated patients include opioids such as fentanyl, morphine, hydromorphone, and remifentanil. Ketamine is also commonly used for both analgesia and sedation. Strategy to minimize discomfort recommended by the Society of Critical Care Medicine, SCCM, focuses on addressing pain before administering sedatives and aims to maintain appropriate sedation levels. Initiating analgesia immediately after intubation, alongside sedation, ensures optimal patient outcomes and humane care. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.